It's been a very changeable day today, weather-wise. I'm now heading back down Main Street and then we'll be making my way out of the park to the monotrain station. Hurricane Irma is looming and making landfall in the southern areas of Florida and then making its way up here. But not for about a couple of days yet. Now when that does happen, this park along with all the other parks obviously will be closing during that particular period. Normally the parks just never close to the public and that's the way they like it. There's only ever been three other times that the Walt Disney World parks have had to close in all its history due to the hurricanes. The first was in September 1999 for Hurricane Floyd. In 2004 there were two. One was called Francis and the other was called Jean. And I actually arrived on that last one as a curfew was about to be put into place. That was quite something. There were also two other hurricanes that year that came up. Uh, in Central Florida, and that was Charlie and Ivan. Now on the day of 9-11, this park alone was able to successfully evacuate thousands of guests from the park. They did it in all the parks where everybody filed out in a calm, orderly manner. Ticket-wise, everybody who entered that morning had the day added back on again, so they didn't lose out at all. There's still a fair amount of blue in the sky, but it has clouded over somewhat. Even without the hurricane, it's still the rainy season, which can be a bit hit and miss this time of year. On saying that though, you'll still very likely get a fair amount of sunshine as well. There's something that's become part of the furniture of Main Street and has done for such a long time, and that's the balloons. You're likely find several cast members from here right up to the castle with them. Now I'm going to mention somebody who will at this point in time not mean anything to a lot of people but to another lot of people and followers, especially people that have an interest in these theme parks will know exactly who I'm talking about. And I thought it was worth a mention, and the reason for which is he's going to be popping up very shortly on my camera. Now this particular guy has become extremely popular on YouTube, and he puts an upload every single day. His name is Tim Tracker, and he's got a huge following of subscribers that goes into thousands and thousands. On top of that, he must have millions of views. Sometimes he's with his wife, Jen Tracker, and I've been subscribed to him for a few years now. He's local to the area and he's able to update us with any changes or basically do what I'm doing right now and give you a guided tour. He's been to so many places though. Well, coming from the UK, I did have a passing thought. Wouldn't it be great if I saw him about? I mean, I'd definitely say hello, but unfortunately for me, and although you see him here, I didn't see him at the time as I was holding the Osmo camera, but looking elsewhere, I was actually deciding whether to take the monotrain or the ferry back to the ticket and transportation centre. And while I was doing this, he happened to walk right past in front of me. So what's the chances of that? As I said before, a lot of people won't know him, but for those of you that do, leave a comment, especially if you've spoken to Tim or his wife, Jen. So here I am looking for the exit and just letting the camera freely do what it does best. Now if I was looking in the direction of the camera, I'd have seen him, especially with his trademark unusual moustache. And there he is, right in front of me, without anyone else in the way. He's the guy with the red top and grey shorts. 
And just for all his followers, here it is again in slow motion, where he actually spots me. I think it was most likely the DJI Osmo he spotted and then picked up his camera and started his blog at that point. And I have seen that video as well. It starts when mine leaves off. Uh, I will leave a, a link to his channel somewhere. And he must have gotten off the blue monorail. I sound like I'm stalking him now. I do apologise, Tim, if you happen to be watching. He has been recently on Fox News talking about YouTube and what makes him and Jem so popular. Someone's also uploaded that as well. It's just a shame I actually missed him in person. Never mind, next time maybe. This is one of 12 monotrains. They all have their own specific coloured stripe down the side. The front looks like a plane, doesn't it? And am I getting on the monotrain blue? Am I? No, it's full, not to worry. It's an express monotrain and it's usually pretty quick. The green ones leaving for the resort hotels. They always travel in the opposite direction. And here's mine now, it's the orange one. Well, thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed my upload. Do subscribe if you haven't already. You'll be up to date with all my uploads. Also check out my channel for similar things. I'll also be uploading other parts as well as coming back here at night time. I'm gonna borrow Tim Tracker's catchphrase just this once and only this once. So I'll see you all again on YouTube, and now it's time to pay the price. Price? Is that in pounds or dollars? Guess what? That orange monotrain isn't mine. It's going to be passing through. They're just testing it out on the track. Next one.